What's happening, you kind folks out on the World Wide Web? This is another IPC in the Funky Eye Puppets joint. And I always use that term in tribute to the incredible Spike Lee. And uh, thank you, Spike Lee, for doing everything you've done to inspire independent creators like myself. And uh, just so much in grace and gratitude to you all stopping by to view another uh, eye paint creatures and funky eye puppets experience into the land of Matsu and my incredible journey uh, through the luminous gates of, of being creative and artistic and uh, being able to uh, express myself in so many facets of ways daily and today uh, drawing a baby Baku, a royal Baku uh, with the incredible Shigen uh, from the story of Matsu and uh, Bakus are basically uh, you know I reinvent them uh, of course they uh, come from a darker side in most of the folklore using yokai and I like to reinvent them into the light more uh, playing off the animal powers that they've been given and a Baku is a combination of a uh, I think a Tatsu to myself and a bear and a big cat and an ox and uh, most of all an elefanto an elephant and uh, you know from the original folk text of the yokai from uh, ancient Japan 1600 uh, they were told uh, about being a uh, a being that collected all these spare parts at the end of the world and became a strange spirit uh, that basically uh, is the guardian of bad dreams and uh, eats bad dreams. And the original myth, uh, when you eat bad dreams, you also get rid of hope and, uh, you know, probably a little bit of mercy too because you're uh, kind of just uh, eating them up. But I like to uh, evolve the myth to our times, and I think if you had a mythological imagined creature like this and they were eating your bad dreams, I think they're more of a guardian because they've been given the incredible powers of Mother Nature through these animals. Like uh, elephants are, you know, they're all el animals always have a dual kind of remedy, you know, a darker one and a light one, and the light one of an elephant is that it will clear away obstacles, like when there's an earthquake in the forest, they are the animal that can get the boulders and the fallen trees out of the way to clear away, which means on the darker side, they can cause the obstacles if they're not intentionally focused, you know, right? And, uh, and then, of course, the big cat, right, you know, the, the predator and, uh, you know, I have some tiny household cats and they always remind me of the power of the proudness and, um, you know, just the focus and, and the playfulness and, and, and how they value family and dedication and uh, being loyal. And then, of course, there's the bear, right, which is the, you know, just the metaphor of bear it all and bear with it and uh, endurance and you know uh continuing on and then there's the ox right which is one of the most powerful uh you know physical animals so it represents strength and courage and moving forward and then the tatsu right which is a magical water serpent which represents you not giving in your humanity your creature your heart to the machine in mechanical ways and uh you know uh monetizing ways r running over the relationship and the rich experience we can have as creatures you know on this earth uh, I'd like to explore a, a quote I'm gonna do it real quick right here and probably run over this uh, speed paint of this Baku and Shigen and it's by Steve Jobs and it says be a yardstick of quality some people aren't used to environment where excellence is expected and uh, got the incredible opportunity to uh, work in division uh, from one of Steve Jobs' visions of the future and uh, at Apple Computers in Cupertino and a short little stunt there, you know, through my experience at uh, Lucasfilm. And uh, yeah, Yardstick of Quality is just right in my uh, Japanese heritage of uh, coming from the Royal Samurai. And I think that's the positive side I got from that heritage of a war cart culture, you know, and a top down culture. But uh, the Yardstick is definitely uh, one of the biggest things is I 
love to practice what I call, and, and my mother uh, gave me the wisdom of calling it the warrior arts, you know, so you're doing the arts not to be like a, a parading, uh, attract attention to you more, uh, you're doing the arts to tune who you are so you can uh, rise and represent and uh, create with all the passion and the focus and intention and purpose you can to create what you do, and so it has just worth in your self first and then when you start sharing with the world you you put so much of everything you got into it and you went beyond even trying you got it you know you just said i'm getting it and put it all forth like that and 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 that's the best way to be is the yardstick of your own quality and find that you know be real honest with yourself you know get the real art i fact you know and and look at people you know that are ahead of you and that are willing to kneel down and show you that this this is the ropes and you know take it and find your own excellence in it but you know always collaborate on it and keep the bridge just strong and open and 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 use all the different spectrums that come to you you know and uh you know it's just some people aren't cut out for the environment where you know they it's all love and and, and they want to pull you up, you know, like a, an incredible uh, poem by the the founder and the creator of the Poetry Slam from Chicago, you know, a good associate and friend of mine named Mark Smith. Uh, love one of his early uh, Poetry Slam poems, which was pull another one up. When you get to the peak, pull another one up. That's why you're climbing. That's why you're creating. That's why you're being who you be. So thank you for watching the video today. And, uh, uh, this is fantastic. I'm wearing a, a Shigiri Mizuki shirt. So uh, go check out Shigiri Mizuki and then and, uh, always get some wisdom from the incredible Steve Jobs, the innovator and uh, one who led the way where I really truly believe business and entrepreneur right now is an art. So be an artist, you know, ride the wave. And thank you for watching the video again. And I'll see you folks real soon. Peace.